So I wanted to discuss this little dice simulation here. Uh, specifically, how did I figure out what number the dice landed on? So for instance, you can see that uh, when they're thrown through the air, the number is kind of moved about a bit and then it turns green and it shows the number it's on. Uh, so I want to discuss how I did all of this and what challenges I faced. So the first thing I had to figure out is, you know, what am I actually trying to solve? And uh, the answer really is trying to figure out which face of the dice is facing upward the most. And um, in order to do that, we have to look at the surface normals. Uh, so I have a little example here. And a surface normal is just a normalized vector uh, that points in the direction of the face. So for instance, this little blue line here indicates the direction of the surface normal of this face it's on. And so if I rotate it, it, it moves around. And so what we actually need to figure out though is the angle between each surface normal and this up normal. This white line is just pointing directly upward. And so if we can figure out the angles between each face and this up vector, um, and we th then we can just grab the smallest angle, and that is the surface that's pointing upward the most. So for instance, right now, we can tell that this green line certainly has the smallest angle between itself and this white up vector um, than any of the other vectors here. Um, and so because of that, we can grab this surface as being the one we landed on, uh, which in this case is the three. So that then asks a question like, well, okay, well, how do you actually get the angle between two vectors? And the way to do that, um, it's actually quite simple. So if we write a little function angle, um, and if from and to are both vector threes, we can return the R cosine of the dot product of the two divided by the product of the two's magnitude. So pretty straightforward, and I'm not really going to go into like, why this works or anything right now, um, but feel free to like Google it. I mean, there, there's plenty of answers that go into depth why this works. Now, um, if both of these vectors are normalized vectors or unit vectors, whatever you want to call them. Uh, that means that by nature their magnitude is going to be 1, uh, which also means that the product here is always going to be 1, uh, which also in turn means that we're dividing by 1, which is pointless. Therefore, if we know that both of these are unit vectors or normalized vectors, we can actually just strip off uh, this denominator right there because it's, it's not needed. Um, so the angle between two unit vectors then is simply the R cosine of the dot product of the two. And so that's how we actually get the angle uh, from each of these normal vectors from our up vector. We just take the angle between the two. Uh, and then if we just figure out which one has the smallest angle, uh, we know what face they're on. So then the next challenge here is actually figuring out how to get the surface normal of each of the surfaces. Uh, and the way we do that, we're going to jump over back to our actual game here and look at our dice. Well, no, actually, we're going to go back here because we're solving it here too. Uh, so we have this helpful enumerator right here called normal ID. And we have uh, a value for each surface. Um, so this is really easy for a cube then. And we have a really helpful vector three function that's, you know, from normal ID. And we can grab the normal for a given surface uh, in global space. So that's important, it's in global space. So we're not applying any rotation or anything to it at all. And so the top normal ID normal, that, that was really confusing. The, the vector, the normal ID for a top surface is always going to be 0, 1, 0. And uh, for the bottom, it's going to be 0, negative 1, 0. So 1 in the y-axis, negative 1 on the y-axis for the bottom. Um, and so that's helpful to degree, but we need to then translate that into local space for the actual object. And the way we do that is we uh, invoke the vector2object space method 
on the inverse C frame. So again, we get the normal in global space, and then we translate it into local space by uh, using the vector to object space method here. And then from there, uh, we can then take our angle and measurements. So now we can jump back over here, and in an actual die uh, object here, we have this determined number, and we're scanning through this list of surface normals. We're getting the normal vector in local space, and we're getting the angle. Again, it's our cosine of the dot product of these two, and then it, we are simply seeing if it's the lowest angle. And so we're scanning through each angle, figuring out which one has the, the smallest angle and choosing that one. And so this table right here is uh, shown right here. So for each uh, surface normal, we have assigned the number that actually shows up on the die. Uh, so if we stop this, we can see this dice right here. And uh, let's look at the top surface. So if we select the top surface there, we can see that's a three. So our top surface here is marked as a three, and uh, so on and so forth. So the right surface is six, and on here our right surface is marked as a six. So again, we scan through each of those surfaces. We get the localized normal vector of that surface. We get the angle, and we figure out if it's the smallest. And that's about it. That's how we determine the number that the dice is on. And uh, to physically simulate it, we actually have a throw method here. Uh, which we just apply some velocity and rotational velocity and we uh, simply wait until it stopped moving and we just continuously update the text with the number that it's showing uh, by calling the determine number method. So at the end of the day we have a little dice throwing thing. So again to recap really quickly uh, to sum this up really quickly, yeah, we, we simply measure the angle uh, between each surface normal against the global up vector, and whichever one has the least, uh, or that has the smallest angle is the surface that is facing up the most.